with social anxiety is hell. It's like living your whole life thinking that everyone is watching you, everyone is criticizing you, everyone is just waiting for you to fail so that they can laugh at you. The simplest things in life that nobody thinks twice about doing makes you want to just sit and hide in your room for the rest of your life and just not have to see anybody ever again. Imagine you're about to give a presentation at a conference of 100 professionals in your field. After spending all night and all day worrying, you walk up to the podium, feeling your pulse racing like you've just ran a marathon. You can feel yourself turning red, your heart about to jump through your chest, sweat accumulating all over your body. Standing at the podium, you try to arrange your papers, however your hands are shaking so bad that it's not much use. You go to speak, but you can hardly get a full sentence out because your voice is shaking so badly. While it isn't uncommon for people to experience symptoms like these when giving a presentation or another form of public speaking, for people with social anxiety, these symptoms are present in a majority of social interactions. Going to the doctor, getting a haircut, going to the mall, or even just making small talk elicits these symptoms in people with social anxiety. Social anxiety is more than just shyness. It is a pervasive mental illness that can seriously impact the lives of those who suffer from it. People who experience social anxiety can experience it so severely that it inhibits their pursuit of life goals, prevents them from forming relationships, pursuing career or school, being assertive, or being in public places. This isn't an uncommon disorder, with anxiety and depression associates of America estimating that 15 million Americans have social anxiety. Social anxiety can manifest itself in a number of symptoms. These symptoms are separated into two categories emotional slash behavioral symptoms and physical symptoms. Emotional and behavioral symptoms can include persistent fear of situations in which you may be judged, fear of physical symptoms such as blushing or sweating, enduring a social situation with intense fear and anxiety, and avoiding doing things or speaking to people out of fear of embarrassment in addition to numerous others. These symptoms are also accompanied by the physical symptoms of social anxiety, including blushing, sweating, trembling, upset stomach or nausea, and feeling like your mind has gone blank. These symptoms may flare up over time, especially during periods of high stress or demands. These symptoms are often very difficult for people to deal with, leading them to avoid or experience distress in a number of common social situations, including interacting with unfamiliar people or strangers, making eye contact, dating, and returning items to a store. Avoiding these situations may make sufferers feel better in the short term, however this keeps anxiety from getting better in the long term. Social anxiety is likely caused by a number of factors including inherited traits, brain structure, and the surrounding environment. Social anxiety typically arises during the teenage years, with 13 being the most common age for symptoms to appear. This early age of onset is particularly concerning given that over one-third of people with social anxiety wait 10 years or more to speak to a doctor. Social anxiety is often accompanied by other mental disorders, with it estimated that 66% of social anxiety sufferers have an additional mental illness. The most common accompanying illness is depression, followed by other anxiety orders and substance abuse issues, particularly alcoholism. If untreated, social anxiety can control a person's life, with work, school, relationships, and overall quality of life all being affected. Social anxiety disorder can cause low self-esteem, isolation, difficult social relationships, substance abuse, and suicide or suicide attempts. This makes it important for those suffering from it to seek professional help for their condition. Therapy, specifically cognitive behavioral therapy, has shown to be effective in treating social anxiety. Medications such as anti-anxiety drugs and antidepressants can be effective when used in conjunction with therapy. Given the severe negative impact social anxiety can have on the lives of those suffering from it, it is important that those suffering from it seek help as soon as possible. Being a mental illness, social anxiety is often not overtly noticeable to other people. Sufferers may simply be viewed as shy or introverts, not people suffering from a debilitating mental illness. The nature of social anxiety leads many people to go it alone, with them being afraid or unable to open up to others about their condition. If you or someone you know has social anxiety, it is important to seek out treatment so as to help overcome the disorder. Don't let social anxiety control the one life you have.